What's going on guys, Lepkin here, and today we'll go back in time. For the whole history of Earth, 5 mass extensions took place, and that is exactly what we'll talk about today. We'll go in chronological order. Our division Silurian extinction opens up today's list. It happened 440 million years ago. At that time there was very little oxygen in the air, until creatures lived under the sea. Then all of a sudden a global catastrophe happened and in relatively short amount of time 60% of all creatures died. There are two main hypotheses on this catastrophe. One of them is gamma ray burst as a result of an explosion of a star which was 6000 light years away in the sleeve of our galaxy. Gamma rays lowered the ozone layer of Earth's atmosphere by half, exposing living creatures to strong ultraviolet radiation. Second hypothesis is a sudden reduction of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which led to quick glaciation of the planet. Only a third of all living creatures managed to survive this, including our ancestors, first vertebrate creature, Astrospis. If it would have died back then, you wouldn't be watching this video now. Moving 76 million years into the future and we reach the era of late Devonian extinction, one of the biggest extinctions of flora and fauna, as a result of which at least 75% of all species on Earth went extinct. There are two main factors that led to such a massive extinction, one of the main ones, no matter how weird it might sound, are actually trees. Yes, trees caused so many species to go extinct. The thing is, back then on Earth, there was a very thin layer of soil covering the bedrock. As deeply rooted plants started to evolve, they sped up the composition of deep and rich in nutrient soil. Thousands of years, leaves were falling down on litter, forming the first layer of salt. Then it rained and flushed some of the soil into seas. Seaweed consumed all the nutrients and grew without any control over it, taking up all the oxygen from the water. As a result of this, sea life started to suffocate. Third spot goes to the greatest mass extinction that happened during Permian and Triassic periods 250 million years ago. It led to the extinction of 95% of all marine species. The causes of this are the greatest volcano eruptions that happened in Siberia, accompaniment by toxic gases into the atmosphere. Thousands of years lava was erupting from Earth and it rained with acid rains all over the world. The fact that all continents were united only made the matter worse since nothing could stop the chain reaction of the catastrophe. Only a small bunch of animals managed to survive all this apocalypse, including our closest ancestor, Thraxodon. 50 million years into the future and get Triassic Jurassic Age of Extinction, a disaster that had a massive effect on life on Earth and almost turned our planet into an semblance of a desolated planet Mars. Broken out during the appearance of the first dinosaurs almost 200 million years ago, the disaster destroyed about half of all living creatures back then. Scientists push many different hypotheses on the causes of this extinction. The main one is still the same mass volcano eruption especially the outflow of basalt lava in central Atlantic magmatic regions, which freed carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Lava erupted for many years and the planet looked like hell. Cracks extending a thousand of kilometers could be seen from space, from modern Boston all the way to Rio. The volume of ejected matter was incredible, estimated about 2 million square kilometers of lava. It's a miracle that at least some creatures managed to survive this. The lucky ones included the first dinosaurs. Because of the lack of competition, they started to breed, evolve, generate new species really quickly. Eventually, they ruled the world for the next 140 million years, until a certain event which will be discussed next. And so, the first place goes to Cretaceous Paleogene extension that destroyed dinosaurs. The cause of this was a giant asteroid size of Everest. Clash occurred in the area of Peninsula Yucatan in Mexico, forming a hole several kilometers deep. After a massive explosion, which could be compared to million hydrogen bombs, 100 billion tons of sizzling hot rock rocked into space. In two hours time, massive waves, 90 meters tall, hit the coast of modern USA. They went as far as 300 kilometers on land. And then debris started bombarding the rest of the planet for the next several days. 
fire was everywhere. After debris rain, weeks followed by, while smoke from all the fire began mixing up with dust brought up after the hit. Dinosaurs had no chance surviving anything like this. Unlike our ancestors, tiny fluffy animals that lived in burrows, and they were the ones that inherited the earth. A Cretaceous paleogen extinction received the first place not only because it was the final reason why humans exist today, not because of its chronological order, but also because it was the fastest extinction in the history of Earth. If before mass extensions of species could have lasted for a thousand of years, here everything was decided in literally several days, which makes this extinction an absolute winner in this list. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe and smash the like button below. Here are some videos that you might be interested in, and see you next time.